Hey guys, what's up? It's Kellen here, coming to you live from a secret location. Well, it's not so secret. It's my garage. Um, nothing crazy going on here. Weather's super nasty outside, so I figured, why not film a review video? What I want to go over quickly today is going to be really, you know, we're not going to go too crazy long with the video. I just want to touch upon this awesome, sick new prop that we got from FrightProps.com. This is one of their custom build props. I've been ordering stuff from them for a couple of years now. We've absolutely fallen in love with them as a company. Their quality is amazing. Their customer service is great. And they have some really great details and, and kind of finishing touches that they do on really their overall experience with being a customer of them. Sometimes they send really funny things in the boxes. One of my first shipments from them included uh, a, 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 a host of fake cockroaches, which actually scared the life out of me when I was first unpacking my pneumatics. They have great touches. They have an awesome physical magazine. Um, I just love having their physical magazine in my hands. It lets me drool over all the awesome props and controllers that these guys have. So if you haven't checked them out already, frightprops.com. They build some of their amazing props in-house themselves. They also distribute um, Distortion Unlimited props. Um, really a ton of awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, some of the best prop companies sell through them. Professional haunted house companies and home hunters as well. I am a home hunter. We've been home hunting for almost 11 years now. Uh, we absolutely love it. We don't film a ton of videos just because there's a lot of people out there that do. We had a lot of friends who do film videos. They suggested to us, hey, you guys should as well because you built some really neat stuff. I have a background in theater. I've also worked for some of the major theme parks out there. My husband's background is in tech. He's a software engineer for some of the largest companies out there as well. So this is our kind of high-tech fusion, um, grown-up dream of when we have our own house, we would haunt with the best of them, and we absolutely love it. So let's jump into this awesome prop. This we actually ordered from Fright Props. This is their Fright Saw. So this is a completely electronic replacement for the traditional gas-powered chainsaw. I know I used one of those as a kid in our haunted house and for a, a Six Flags haunted house that I worked for. I knew that sometimes I would miss the scare because I wouldn't be able to fire the chainsaw depending on where I was. I'd get headaches if I was standing in a, an enclosed corner, um, inhaling the fumes if it was running too long, and man, my arm would be burning at the end of the night. Also, there's some safety concerns when just removing the blade from a chainsaw. Yes, it's the most authentic scare out there, but in my honest opinion, I plugged this thing in yesterday and it made me shake. I was so impressed. This thing is a originally a real body from a chainsaw, so you can see on both sides this started out its life as a real chainsaw. It came in two pieces. There's a 28 inch blade that they have rustified and bloodied. These are also things that you can buy from frightprops.com, some of these um, uh, distressing uh, paints and decorating effects. It had two bolts here where this blade basically attached to it. I'm sure you could actually cut this blade down if you wanted to. You could request Fright Props build you a shorter blade. You could build a shorter blade yourself and have two options. I think the 28 inch blade with the 40 inch overall total tip to tail measurement is super intimidating and awesome. <laughs> we're not going to shorten it, we're not going to modify this thing in any way, but Fright Props is incredible and they hand build these things themselves. So if you have a special request, more than likely they can accommodate it. I haven't really asked them anything yet that they've said no to. Now just keep in mind, we paid full price for this thing, this was not given to us, uh, we were not paid for this review, yada yada yada. This was something that we absolutely wanted. At our home haunt, we have a problem with people hanging around. This basically clears out the crowds very, very quickly, and it's super effective and efficient at doing so. So we finally invested in this thing. It weighs, they say 9 pounds. That would probably be fair. Um, you'll feel the weight of it. It's not feather light, um, but it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. So moving on, and also they send it with this awesome fanny pack. 
as well as a uh, spare charger that they have. And mine had a charger as well in the back uh, pouch of the fanny pack, so it has the clips. Inside of the fanny pack, there's also <clears throat> this 12 volt, 5 amp battery. This is what actually powers the saw. So there is, you know, I'd say it's probably 36 inch cord that comes off of the back of this, plugs into this battery pack here, and then fanny pack would go on you. Oops, there we go. Fanny pack goes on like this. To be honest, I, I actually might wear this. I might wear this out. This is, I like this. This is a nice fanny pack, I'm not gonna lie. This is like pro, haunters, yeah, I'm probably going to wear this out. Anyways, you're going to basically plug your battery in. So it has these just like push-on connections. They fit pretty snugly, so I'm not really that worried about them pulling out. But I'm sure for safety reasons, if you were to drop it, they would unplug um, and you would want it to do so. So once you're plugged in, you can pop it in your little fanny pack here. I love the fact that this fanny pack has dual zippers, um, so you can zip the the zipper around the cord and not have to manipulate it too much. Now for us, I can spin this around to the back and that can show right there. <clears throat> so this thing has a couple of different settings on it. So it has an idle setting. There's a switch right here that you will flip up. That activates the idle setting. After about two seconds, you'll hear the chainsaw um, activate and you'll hear somebody pulling what would be the chain or um, the pull cord and starting up the chainsaw it'll rev a couple times just as you would as if you were starting up a gas chainsaw and then it will sit in idle I'm actually going to talk over the sound effect I just don't want anybody to pull it off the video I know Fright Props works very hard on their sound effects and you know intellectual property and stuff so I'm going to talk over as I do it but I'm going to flip the switch on you're going to wait about two seconds and you're going to hear the chains rev tip on the ground um, to hold the weight if I needed to. Um, that's really smart and thoughtful in my opinion um, and it works out really awesome for me. But basically, so this guy sits in the idle and just as easily you can switch it off. Um, really not a major problem there. Now, when you switch it on and it starts up, we're going to let it go through that red thing again. And you can, you can walk suggest if you have really special needs like I don't know you um, yeah I don't know special needs like if you specifically wanted um, the saw blade shorter or if you specifically didn't want the idle sound you just wanted the trigger to activate it those are all possible because it does have a controller inside of it I would strongly suggest though if you're good if you know those modifications are, are kind of needed beforehand just reach out to them and let them do it for you um, if you start getting into this and messing around with it and changing the volume changing the audio and how it operates and reformatting it you're likely not to get it back to where it originally started and to be completely honest these guys did such a great job you shouldn't really need to touch it unless you maybe have a special application where you don't want the idle sound you just want the crazy chainsaw sound tell them beforehand because they can totally do that um, fanny pack is really nice that they included this um, 
mean, it's a nice fanny pack. They could have totally cheaped out on this sucker and made a nasty one, but this thing is super cool, especially with the little logo on it and with the extra charger that it comes. So guys, if you haven't checked it out already, go check out frightprops.com. This whole company is amazing. You know with the little gags and jokes and the finishing details like this, there's people behind that company that are absolutely incredible and absolutely love what they do. We love them for doing what they do and we were super happy with this Fright Saw purchase from Fright Pops. So if you've been on the fence about this, get off the fence, get online, order this awesome thing and let us know what you think. This thing is awesome and we're so happy to share it with you guys. <clears throat> now, if you're interested in more videos like this, just let us know. We're really not sure what you guys would want to see from our display, but we have a lot of high-tech haunt stuff. Um, props like this, our zombie box we have another video on. Just let us know. Also, if you guys are interested, subscribe to the channel. We're going to start out putting a lot more videos like this, specifically on Halloween-related props and builds. Um, and like it. If you like this video and you think this prop is super cool, let us and let Fright Props know. Go to their page, look this video up, check out their demo with the crazy clown. And if you, like I said, if you've been on the fence with this, guys, don't get on the fence anymore. Just go out and buy this awesome prop and hurry up now before they can't build it in time for Halloween. Because we are super stoked to have this and I absolutely will film a follow-up video. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs and scare my husband. He's upstairs playing video games right now. I think he's playing Rocket League or Smite, but I'm going to take this baby upstairs and try it out. So remember guys, subscribe, like, comment below, let us know what you'd like to see, and always remember guys, Halloween is supposed to be scary. So you guys have an awesome day. I'm going to go take after my husband. <laughs>